My name is Ashley McCullough. You can call me Coach Ash, Coach McCullough, whatever. Hi, my name is Hannah Trimble, and I teach ESS pre-algebra and life science. My name's Miss Williams. I teach Art 1 and Art 2. Uh, my name is Terry Ojeda. I am a brand new teacher, but I have been on campus for five years as an instructional aide in the classroom, and I worked in the cafeteria for a year and a half before that. And I've been a teacher, this is my seventh year now teaching. I have been coaching for seven years now, and I teach uh, special education and emotional disturbance at Eastside. I've been teaching for 15 years, this is year 16, and I teach Algebra 1. I'm a very dedicated uh, basketball coach. Well, I'm super passionate about helping people, specifically listening. I've been a member of this community my whole entire life. The reason I chose to want to be an art teacher is because when I was a teenager, art was a very therapeutic outlet for me. Um, that I love my kids. I like building relationships with my students and having a positive environment for their learning. I went to school to, how can I say it, uh, learn who I want to be. And I've done the work to become a better, not only coach, but a better person to help our student athletes and our students within the classroom on and off the court. The art classroom was where I felt safe and accepted. Um, so I wanted to be able to offer that same kind of space for future generations. I definitely feel like if students or people would want to walk into my class and kind of vent to me, I kind of, I love doing that. So my door is always open for anyone. The major goal I have for my players this year is number one, to get to class, especially if they don't have a pass, but definitely get to class. I want them to be able to use math and understand how it is used in their everyday life. I want my students to take advantage of, like I said, the therapeutic qualities of art. I think one of the biggest things in high school for coaches is to make the players feel loved and then they will respond that way. I guess I want them to be able to share their perspectives, their different perspectives respectfully and yeah, to be able to listen to each other with respect. I want them to, when they come into art class, utilize that as a space to kind of like slow down and reflect and kind of relax. I try to make my classroom a bit more of a um, low key kind of relaxed atmosphere. Coaching with love and respect only helps them on and off the court, knowing that they can come to me, knowing that they can talk to me about anything, but I am going to hold them accountable and help them achieve their goals. I didn't always want to become a teacher, however, my experiences growing up, at least in the high school experience, I didn't have the greatest teachers. What high school did you do? I went to Highland. <laughs> the opportunity to work in the Biomed Academy. I've been wanting to work at Eastside for a few years now because I heard so many great things about the art department, the theater department, the music department, all of the visual and performing arts. Obviously, that's my jam. Starting my career off at Lancaster High School, then going to college, the biggest impact that I can have as a coach is on the high school level. That's where we need the most attention at, especially for within our community. The more opportunities that kids have to get extra support and teachers have to get extra support, that I can pass that off to other teachers or use myself or pass on to my students. Everyone's already been so welcoming so far. Checking up on me, just like, hey, Ms. Flores, how are you? Everything good? This is a simple check-in. I think I would really like that. As a basketball coach, I think the Eastside community can just definitely let me know when my kids are not going to class so that I can help them, encourage them, get to class. People have been really helpful so far of helping me feel welcome and a part of the community. Just by being themselves, they're so supportive. And I think the biggest thing is just support us. I think the basketball program is heading in a good direction and just being here to support us and making the boys feel like everybody has their back is the biggest thing that can help us out this year.
Biomed Academy um, has been very helpful um, in welcoming me to Eastside. Um, I work with a really great group of people in that area. Miss um, Rouser, for sure, she's helped me so much. I've been emailing her a lot. I'm so sorry, Miss Rouser, I know I get annoying. The instructional partners have been very helpful. My excellent coworker, Mrs. Rivas, who is the department chair for the art department, she has been wonderful. Everybody, I've never been a part of a high school program or a high school campus where everybody's so supportive. Also being in the math department um, and meeting and collaborating with them has been very helpful. Miss Singh has also helped me a lot and honestly some students, they've just been checking up on me like, hey Miss Flores, how are you doing? Um, being part of the MTSS team is also like another little family. Admin has been a great help, especially Mr. Gomez and Ms. Reeder. That's, that's, a, that's been everything. I've, I've loved being here so far. I didn't expect to love Eastside this much because I had heard stuff about Eastside. The community, everything has been amazing. And it's very made my transition back to high school and being a new teacher, super easy. I'm just really excited to be here. The vibes have been so great so far. Everyone's been so welcoming. Being here, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I feel like this is literally family, so I really, really like being here. I don't feel like I'm new here. I already feel like I've been welcomed as part of the community, so that's really awesome. So thank, thank you, all of you guys, for doing that. Thank you, Eastside. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Eastside. I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Eastside. I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Eastside. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Eastside. I'm happy to be here. Like, I never wanted to become a teacher, but it, like bad teachers made me want to become a teacher, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I'll just wing it. Here, put, put your arm up. Put your arm up. <laughs> the other up? Yeah, there you go. How's that? That's good? So it's okay if I say like, um, stuff like, you could edit that out and... So it's a bit of a controlled chaos? And this okay. is my new, um, brand new teacher. So we'll say new to teaching on side. Yes. Hey, Scooter, Scooter, I need you to hold the ball for a second. Thanks for welcoming me. No, welcoming, welcoming me. me. That's too hard. Don't put that in there. That's going to be a blooper. What was the last question again? Thank you for making me feel welcomed here at Eastside. That's boring. That's, does that work? Was that good? Yeah. You're still recording and I'm just sitting here? Alright, so it's already recording, so I'll just go in. Alright.